Hey Carb Crunches, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. I'm here with the beautiful Raw Fruits Neat, my very special girlfriend. And this is day 17 of our 30 videos in 30 days. And today's topic is our combined experience, our 16 years combined experience on a raw food diet. Because that's how long it's been. It's been like about seven years almost for me yeah. and and wait. nine getting towards ten for me and we haven't been on the wagon the whole time I mean I did mm. have a bit of a fall off there yeah, and, both of us and now I'm eating I'm incorporating a little bit of cooked vegan food but it has been there's been a lot of lessons that we've learned okay and that's what we want to talk about today so what has been the biggest lesson for you over the last the nine biggest years? lesson yeah definitely how to carve up yeah, how to um, carve the fruit up. Yep, yeah, and not be afraid of fruit, um, eating enough fruit, and now eating cooked root vegetables um, in the evening. How important is it? Like, oh. so how how good you feel, how you perform, how you how fit you get. It's like night and day, really. You cannot compare how I used to feel to yeah. how I feel now, and what I'm able to do physically and mentally. Um, cope with emotional things that come up in life, stresses. Yeah. I could never have dealt with that without having some kind of a mental breakdown. Yeah. You're no longer glucose deficient. No. Life is up. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so important. I. That's a top one for me as well. Is eating enough carbs. How important it was. It is for my journey. Like I didn't eat enough fruit, and I would fall off the wagon, and. Yeah, it's okay if you eat high carb cooked vegan foods. Just make sure you eat enough of them so you don't fall back into like animal products. And low fat. Yeah, low fat. You don't want to fall back into the fat. So the next one, you know, I would say is cooked food isn't poison. Or high carb cooked <laughs> vegan food isn't poison. Yeah, I thought that. Like that was that was something That's that I just definitely... purity thinking. Yeah, the purity thing. Like that's something I've felt over the last you know six years seven years is that if I have a little bit of cooked food like a bit of rice or something mm. it's gonna kill me you know I'm gonna oh. end up in hospital and the guilt attached yeah. oh my god I can remember I'm um, having some steamed broccoli what four years ago or something did, did you I felt did you have it four years ago? <laughs> I felt no, actually a blanched in some hot water <laughs> it was winter I was so hungry I was like oh, I'm trying not to have a fatty salad yeah. <laughs> And I felt so guilty. Yeah. Like so guilty. So much stigma. And it's ridiculous. Like, yeah. It was vegan. It yeah. was healthy. It was a whole food. I mean, what the fruit? That's right. It's like, <laughs> what's the lesson out of this? Like, just get in the carbs. Seriously, yeah. if they're cooked, if they're raw, get them in. As long because, as they're vegan. As long as they're vegan, exactly. And low fat. No fat. Very, very important. And I think another one for me is bananas, and oh, for you as well. Like absolutely. Bananas are like the ultimate food. Yeah, it's I like just, bread for raw vegans. Absolutely. Seriously. I mean, it, even if you have the high carb cooked vegan food at night, if you choose to have that, then that's great. But make sure you get as many bananas in a day up. as you can. Yeah, <laughs> carb up, carb the bananas yeah. up because they're like a staple and they encourage serotonin release, they help you sleep better. They ultimately help you look better because you get the carbs into your cell, this nice clean source of carbs, and then you want to move. You want to go and pump it and not just on the rebounder. You want to get out there and, <laughs> and ride some hills. Absolutely. You know? Or run, or run. you find yourself just randomly skipping down the street. I mean, <laughs> do you do that too? Yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't done that together. No, we, we haven't. Have we have not done that together. That's the next video, guys, skipping yeah. down the street. Yeah. Be do, do, um, and also potassium is the ultimate youth oh, mineral. Yeah. Good for skin, good for your cells. Good reminder. Keeps you looking fab. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And tastes good. A day without bananas for me is just something's missing. Same, is it? Yeah. Seriously, something's missing. Me too. So it's really important. I agree. And what about what's the next one? Like something else. <sighs> Fasting. Fasting, <laughs> yeah. That was oh my god. My god. Every Monday, water fast. We both used to do once a week, every Monday. And you know what? We'd, we'd do it for weight loss. Oh, yeah. And like, we'd lose a bit of weight, you know, the next two days. and be like, oh my God, look at the scales. Yeah. We've lost like two kilos, but it was all water. Yeah. Then we started eating again and bang. There and it is. And then did we start eating again. And the metabolism just went 
haywire, absolutely haywire. And also, I remember, I just remembered, like, in this crazy 10 years I've had, I used to actually drink my own urine. Oh, did you do that? Wow, the things I'm learning about this girl during this video. How, how disgusting. I mean, seriously, it's got shivamboo or something. And oh, I, yeah. I read a whole book on it. And on my days of fasting, I mean, oh, my God. Part of it now is just so disgusting. During the fasting, drinking piss. Oh, no, no, no. Clean piss, though. Nasty, nasty. It's meant to be out, not in. <laughs> not so, but anyway, next, next. Yeah, so <laughs> Please, flip quick. flopping on the diet. I think that was a big thing. You know, we both went back yeah. during this time. We both went back and it's because we were undercarved. And that's just another lesson to go, you know, to go for it yourself yeah. or to root yourself. Get the carbs in because you may flip flop, you may go back to animal products. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you are if you don't have any ethical attachment to animals, then you will likely be eating them again if you yeah. get undercarved. Yeah. I know you might be saying, no way, I'd never do that. But seriously, if you don't build that ethical attachment, that's something that we have done yeah. over the last you know, 16 years, like, gradually we've built that ethical attachment. At first, we were all about health and appearance. Health and appearance, and, yeah. absolutely. The ethical attachment is so important if you want to keep on this path. I mean, 2010, I went back to eating my animal friends simply because I was undercarved. It is that simple. Yeah. We, as humans, tend to overcomplicate things, and it's not complicated. It is that simple. Fill up your glycogen tank Yeah. if you don't want to eat animals. I mean, Absolutely, yeah, totally, totally. You know, if you if you run low on glucose, then you're going to be looking for some other calories. And especially when the rest of society is eating animals, yes. and basically the rest of society, it's kind of like it's okay. Yeah. You know, oh well, I'll eat them too. Keep your standards low. Yeah. And it's okay. Well, it, it's no. Lift your standards high. Surround yourselves with with high moral standard people like Free. I mean, she's amazing. She, she holds me up here and I think sometimes when you stop, it just, will you lower your standard? Uh, <laughs> she holds me up too. <laughs> that is scruff sometimes. Yeah. But it's important, like, who you surround yourself with too. Yeah, that, that's, I think that's about it. Yeah. That's what we wanted yeah. to address today. You know, there's a lot of learning to be done over the years and we feel like we've really come a long way and we're just... I feel like I'm just, I continue to learn and Absolutely. learn and grow and grow. And it is a process. Yeah. For as long as we're living, we've got to be learning. Yeah. As long as it's in the direction we want to be going, you know, you just keep learning. Keep yourself open to learning new things. Yeah. And aspire to those who are getting the results that you desire. Well said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for coming in. Mwah. Say goodbye to the Carb Bye. Crunchers. I will see you tomorrow for day 18. I will see Don't you Don't forget week. to go fruit yourself or root yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not missing you, <laughs> Ciao. Potato, potato, potato. <laughs>